People don't understand their natural advantages、yeah. and they don't use them. That's bad, number one. But worse, number two, if you don't think you're a good ice skater or if you're convinced you're not a good cellist, you're not going out and try it. But people are buying stocks anyway.、Yeah. They're not discouraged, they just think it's a gamble.、Yeah. We begin with Peter Lynch. Time Magazine has called him America's number one money manager. During the 13 years he headed the Fidelity Magellan Fund, it was a top ranked general equity mutual fund. His new book, Beating the Street, offers advice on picking stocks and maximizing profits. And he's here to talk to us about a lot of things. Peter, welcome to the broadcast. You wrote a book called One Up on Wall Street.、Right. And I think that's one of the best selling books ever about Wall Street, if I'm not、right. correct. And you、right. can correct me.、Right. And so, so why then did you write another okay. book? Okay, okay. okay. I think the reason I wrote it is the first, I try to explain to people their great advantages, their edges they have, and that they should get involved in stocks.、Right. And they should do it on the right basis. This was on the first book. Right. Yeah. And obviously, I didn't make a great impression because the percent of people's assets involved in the stocks has gone down. In 1960, people had 40% of their financial assets, including their house,、yeah. in stocks and mutual、right. funds. In 80, that was down to 25%. It's now down to 17%. And why do you think that is? Well, I think people in the decade of the 80s was the best decade, the century for stocks. I think people managed to lose money in the 80s doing it themselves because their, their methods were so flawed. So I, I really feel as though I want people to understand. I don't want anybody to buy a stock. I'm saying if you're、yeah. going to buy a stock, you should do certain things.、Right. If you're not willing to do these things, You should leave your money in the bank.、Yeah. Your philosophy is, is simple, and I'm remembering this from the previous book. I、right. think we're now talking about the previous book. Correct. Your、right. philosophy was, if you find something that you identify with. I remember、right. there was a story、yep. of your、yep. wife and her hose. Yeah. Your wife、oh, kept saying, "These are legs and pants." Oh, you legs, got it. Yeah. Legs and pants. Your wife said, "These are the greatest <laughs> things I've ever seen." Right. right. And when your wife said that, you knew that this was a product that、right. was better. Right. You used to stay at La Quinta Motel. Right. And right. the service、yeah. was better. Whatever、yeah. was yeah. better. Right. The and price so, was good. And、too. the price was good too. And、yeah. you said, "This is a place、right. that I can determine.、Right. I, Peter right. Lynch, right. Right. can tell that this is a good product. Right. That's right. And if these people making a good product, then their earnings are going to go up. Therefore, the stock's going to go up. Right. And I. That's the kind of decision-making process you want to go through.、Right. Do I have it? You've got it exactly right. Well, I, do, I don't think people understand there's a hundred percent correlation with what happens to a company's earnings over several years and what happens to the stock. If the company McDonald's has done very well as a company, right? The stock has done very well. People worry about too much money supply. What's happened to the price of oil? Whether, who's the president? <laughs> who's being nominated for the Supreme Court? It's all the ozone、earnings. layer. There's nothing to do. McDonald's earnings go up the next ten years. The stock will go. Yeah,、up. but what they will say to you, Peter, is that as you know, and why am I telling you this? But they might. It's fun to tell you this. They're telling you that these other things influence the amount of earnings of a particular company.、Yeah. If we're in a recession, people、right. are not going to spend、That's、as、right. much money on going to the movies、Absolutely. or whatever they do. Right, right. And, and therefore, you got to pay attention to these、right. other things because、yep. they impact on earnings. They are very important, but you have no idea of knowing what they're going to do. Alan、right. Greenspan is the head of the Federal Reserve. Right. He cannot predict interest rates. Yes. He'd be the first. He can influence them, but he can't predict them. He cannot predict what long-term interest rates are going to be one year from now, two years from now, three years. He's even surprised how low they are now. Right. So how am I supposed to predict interest rates? How am I supposed to predict the economy? You certainly remember the recession of '82. Yes. 1982, we had a 20 percent prime rate, 14 percent unemployment, 12 percent inflation. I don't remember anybody telling me in 1980 or 81 that was going to happen. All of a sudden, we had the worst recession since the Depression. I didn't read about it in the paper. So it's crazy to think about these things. Here's a quote from you: I own Dunkin' Donuts. When you own Dunkin' Donuts, you don't have to worry about Korean imports. You don't have to worry about M2 or M3. These are money supply figures, right? Aren't they? Yep. And and what's happening to the money supply? This is the way you make money. If you don't understand what the company does, you should not be in it. If you could predict the stock market, you could predict the economy, you could predict interest rates. If you go buy the wrong stocks, you're going to lose half your money anyway. Right. I'm saying people have natural advantages. Yeah. Let's say what you do for a living is you're involved in the restaurant industry. Right. You supply paper products. You,、right. you supply kitchen equipment. You help build restaurants. Right. You saw McDonald's. You saw Chee-Chee's. You saw Chili's. You saw Cracker Barrel. You saw Dunkin' Donuts, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Taco Bell. These are all these success were, stories. These were forty, forty-fold. You made forty to fifty times your、yeah. money. You don't need to make. That kind of money many times in your life, right? Yeah, no, no, that's all you had to do was follow the restaurant industry.、Yeah. People are in industries. They're in the publishing industry. They're in the chemical industry. The paper. Why don't they just stay with that industry? You only need a few stocks a decade. How many good stocks do you need a lifetime? <laughs> Instead, of people they're in the restaurant industry. They're buying biotechnology stocks.、Right. The people in the chemical they industry know nothing about biotech. Nothing about the people in the chemical industry are buying oil stocks.、Right. It's absolutely absurd. <laughs> people don't understand. Their natural advantages,、yeah. and they don't use them. So th- that's that's bad. Number one, but worse. Number two, if you don't think you're a good ice skater, or if you're convinced you're not a good cellist, you're not going out and try it. 
but people are buying stocks anyway. Yeah. They're not discouraged. They just think it's a gamble. Yeah. So therefore, they go forward and they they bet on one stock for a week and a half, and it goes up, and they they make two dollars on it. Then they sell it and they buy something else. When three years is over, all they've done is generate a lot of commissions. And they've probably lost money. That's a mistake. So your advice is what? If you don't understand a company,、yeah. if you can't explain it to a ten-year-old、right. in two minutes or less, <laughs> yes, don't own it. Because when it goes down, let's say the stock goes down two, you、points. won't understand what's going on. What do you do? Do you buy more? Do you do you、yeah. do you flip and, a coin? And chances are your broker doesn't either. You, they, he, he or she certainly doesn't know、yeah. about it. <laughs> I mean, who knows what advanced? What、yeah. all these things are with auto back planes and mega flops? Who knows what、yeah. all these? So buy what、are. you know. Buy in your industry. Buy what you know. Buy local companies. Yeah, so, so suppose you you don't have an industry. I mean, you know, you don't really. You, well, you buy com- local companies. Right. Companies in your own industry. Ten years after Walmart went public. Ten years after Walmart. Walmart. Ten years after it went public. It's a twenty-five year old company now.、Right. You could have bought the stock and made fifty times your money on it. Fifty times. This is if you bought it ten years after, after it, it was public already.、Yeah. It already gone up fivefold. So you could have made two hundred fiftyfold. But I'm saying, let's say you were in the town. They came into it and they said. Boy, these prices are great. They're doing terrific.、Yeah. I like the bargains.、And、you checked it out. You spent a little bit of work on it. Yeah. I mean, people are very careful. They when they buy a dishwasher, they do some research. They'll put ten thousand dollars in some、yeah. stock. They hear on a bus. So if you did a little bit of research, you say Walmart's in only ten percent of the country. They're not even saturated there. Why can't they go to the rest of the country? So is this this is more of the same? Is this, it what it is? It's more of the same. Plus, I show examples. It's it's a, a touch more. Detailed. It actually shows me in an action.、Right. I picked twenty-one stocks early in nineteen ninety-two. Some work, some don't. I follow those companies. Some of the companies, the fundamentals deteriorate. Some they improve. I watch those companies go through the year. I also explain the retail industry. I try and make it very simple. And I talk about a wonderful example. Is a seventh grade class.、Yeah. The teacher of that read my book and my first book that you were talking about. <laughs> you, you and I did a show on that、That's、in Washington.、Right. You remember that show? Right. This is、right. a long time ago. She read the book, and I said, "If you made it through fifth grade math, you can do it in the stock market."、Yes. She says, "Okay." She started teaching it in seventh grade,、right. seventh grade class. These kids had to study companies.、Right. They had to look at their balance sheets to see if they're solvent.、Yeah. And they picked stocks. These stocks were up sixty-nine percent over two years, when the market was up only twenty. They picked stocks like Limited. They picked The Gap. They、right. picked Walt. They understood these companies. They also picked IBM. I lost money on that too.、Yeah. I mean, everybody <laughs> makes mistakes. Everybody did, yeah. But I'm saying this is this was this was the school St. Agnes's School in Arlington, Mass.、Right. But in addition, in the decade of the '80s, there's 8,000 investment clubs. These are amateur sort of、right. average people just investing. These investment clubs, 62% of them of these clubs beat the market. In the decade of the '80s, only 25% of professionals beat the market.、Right, let me go back to one other subject. You, after you're coming back to Fidelity, aren't you? Aren't Just you, aren't you a, going to do something. Well, when I when I finish this book, I've been working about one or two、right. days a week the last year and a half on this book. Right now, I'm done with the book. I'm going to go back to maybe one day a week working with the younger analysts. Just listening to them. Talking to them, I'm not telling them to buy Xerox. So you're not rejoining your old lifestyle. Not totally. I'm not going to run another fund. Thirteen years was plenty of running a fund. I'm just going to work with younger analysts. Let them ask questions. I'll ask them questions. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, do you still follow? Do you manage any money for anybody other than no, yourself? No, no, no. Manage. I manage money with other people for some charities. Right. But no, I don't manage anybody's accounts. You're not、zero. doing some mutual funds, no, some pension funds, no, some nothing. I'm out. Went cold、fund. turkey.、No. All right, yeah, cold yeah. turkey. Yeah, you get cold turkey. Now, are, are you happy you did this? I'm、oh, obviously delighted. It's great. You know,、oh, and you、it. like your new life? Oh, it's fabulous.、Right. Yeah. Four or five years ago, you just said, "And I'm、yeah. managing all、yeah. this money. I'm going to do. I'm going to quit." Gonna... Yep,、yeah, that's right. And what? And you went to do what? Well, actually, I wanted to spend more time with my wife and my children. Right. And it was, it was an interesting situation because I loved my job. I adored my job.、Right. And I and I liked outside and, activities. And when I, when I was young, you know, I, I didn't wasn't involved in charity work until I was thirty.、Yeah. No activities. Younger children, you just read them a book and Good Night Moon, and they fall asleep, and it's all over. When, when they get older, there's you know, there's more time involved. So I enjoyed the family.、Mm-hmm. I was leaving for work at six in the morning. I was getting home at seven o'clock at night, six days a week. This was in Boston. Yeah, traveling fourteen days a month it was just too much. So I said, you know, I I said that's it. I can't take it. And fortunately, I'd made enough money to say. I could give up the jobs. I didn't have to give up the family or the outside activities. And so, what happened then? So you did what with your well, life? Well, I cut back from about a eighty, ninety hour week to a forty or fifty hour week. And I, in the morning, I make breakfasts and lunches for the kids, and I do the spelling words and the Spanish words.、Yes. And Carolyn does the math and the science, and I、uh, see Carolyn in the morning, and off I go to a place. You have to go. So, my opinion, you have to go somewhere to do something. If you stay at home, you want to be answering the telephone or watching cartoons. So I,、uh, <laughs> yes, I or falling asleep, taking、summer. a nap. So she does the hard work, and I go. I go. <laughs> Fidelity gave me an office. I have a secretary, and I spend majority of the time 
working on charity things like inner city schools, yeah. inner city libraries, inner city housing. You know, helping people manage their money or no, it, not at all. Just, that, no. just. I'm some of the charities I'm on the investment committee right. of, of some of the Museum of Fine Arts. The, you know, I'm involved in Mass General Hospital, and Boston College, but United Way. But it, the, the, all the extra things I added to were real hands-on, actually being involved in charitable activities. <laughs>